friends. Today I'm going to show you how to use IDs in classes for automation and also how to find them. So here's an example code that I have already installed on your computers. Uh, so number one, we need to f we need to go to this website and that is already here. This is command that will take your automation to your website. Then you need to find this text box and type in your name here the way we would manually do like this but we're gonna do it through our automation so let's do right click inspect and it takes us straight to this element or in our case we would have to click on this icon right here then mouse over the element and click on it so we're in the same spot so now we need to find something unique and it is either ID or class in this case so we see class form control. We search for it. So for, we highlight it, copy, command F to search for it, command V to paste it. And then we find that there are two of them. But for our automation, we need to always put a dot before. That's, that's what class is. So there are two of them. If I hit enter, it shows there are two of them. So that's not gonna work. So we need to come back to the same element and look for ID. Okay, inbox text field. Command C, Command F, Command V. Looks like there is five of them, but we forgot to add a uh, hashtag to it. So if it is ID in HTML, you should search it by adding a hashtag. For, for browser, it means it is ID. So ID inbox text field is unique. So it's only one of them. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. So then we copy this, go to automation and type into search text box, which is right here, inbox text. Oh, it's already there, but we're going to paste it anyways, just in case. So we're going to type into search text box and we're going to type in this following text, search, search text Russ, and then we're going to click on go button so we need to do same thing uh, click on this icon right here mouse over go button click on it and then see so that's the one right here you see that it's highlighted with yellow because that's it comes from the search box we gotta delete this part and now we see that only this part is highlighted which is our go button so we gotta also find other class it's right there or ID usually ID is more unique so we should always look first for ID copy command F command V also let's add a hashtag to tell browser that it is an ID and it is also unique awesome so let's use it copy the entire thing don't forget about a hashtag otherwise your automation will be like okay what is this so uh, await page dot click your element name here okay so we're gonna paste it here. Forgot to put a semicolon. So your homework is going to be to automate the, those tests, but also to move all of these strings into variables, just like we did right here. Right and right there. Okay. So we're gonna type in into text box the following text, then click on this go button and let's see what's going to happen so we type Ross we click go okay and this page appears and I, that we uh, we need to ver yeah let's verify that this element exists right here so we'll click on the same icon right there and then mouse over you see if you mouse over text it will show only text but we need to mouse over the entire thing let's do it then we see Oh, there is a class title, but there are no IDs. Well, let's check it out. Command uh, C, Command F, search for it. Since it is a class, we add a dot to tell browser that it is a class. And then it is unique. Awesome. So that's the element that we're going to find. Let's uh, copy the entire thing. Don't forget about a dot. Um, wait for selector. That's going to be command that we're going to use oops I forgot a quotation mark so then let's see what we're going to do we're going to go to this website type this text into that text box click on this element and then wait for this element 
which is this icon. And then if computer finds it, it's going to close the browser and then it will mean that everything has passed. So that's an example of how you're going to do your homework. But here, here's actual homework. Let me copy it. Yeah, I will send it to you guys in the Telegram channel. Uh, thanks for attention. I shall talk to you later.